The periodic table includes a place for all the elements that have been discovered. Metals are found on the left and non-metals on the right. Elements with similar properties are grouped together in columns. But the elements haven't always been arranged in this way. It was in 1869 that the brilliant Russian scientist Dmitry Mendeleev worked out the basis of the modern periodic table. He was a fanatical card player. His favourite game was patience. By Mendeleev's time, 63 elements had been discovered, but scientists couldn't agree on how to arrange them in a useful way. Mendeleev wrote each element symbol on a card, along with a value called atomic weight. He was determined to find a pattern which would link groups of similar elements. One group was the reactive non-metals, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Another group was the reactive metals, sodium, potassium, rubidium and cesium. Mendeleev was convinced that an overall pattern existed. He tried arranging the cards in different ways. But after three days and three nights, he still hadn't found a solution. Exhausted, he fell asleep. Miraculously, as he dreamt, he began to see the pattern he'd been looking for. Mendeleev's answer was to arrange the elements in columns in order of atomic weight. By doing this, groups of similar elements could be grouped in the same row, like the alkali metals and the halogens. The properties of the elements repeated in a series of periodic arrangements, so he called it the periodic table. Mendeleev was so convinced his pattern was correct that he left spaces. This was his stroke of genius. He reasoned that there were still more elements to be discovered that would fill these gaps. He even predicted the properties of these unknown elements based on their position in his table. If the table really could be used to predict the existence of elements, then other scientists would have to agree that Mendeleev's ideas were right. Six years later, a new element called gallium was discovered. Its atomic weight was almost exactly the same as Mendeleev's prediction. This happened again, with two other elements filling gaps. From then on, Mendeleev's table was accepted by scientists. Today, the layout of the periodic table looks slightly different. While Mendeleev wrote his original table in columns, the modern table is arranged in rows. Over 60 elements were known to Mendeleev. Today, we know of more than 100, each with its own place in the periodic table. And nowadays, elements are written in order of increasing atomic number, not atomic weight. The position of any element in this table allows its properties to be predicted.